background kind of looks a little smoky, like I'm in a bar in the 80s. I'm not. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a quick... Every time I light move suddenly, look at how the light shifts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've lost my mind. I admit it. Nancy Barrett or Barret or Barrett, one of those, um, asked me a question, and because I am having such trouble with my arthritic hand, <laughs> it's starting to hurt to text. Mm. So um, I'm going to have to use my phone and, like, press the little microphone and talk it out. You know, it's kind of like that dragon talk or dragon speak or, you know, how they used to have that computer app or program where software where you could, like, yeah, never mind. Okay, so, yeah, I'll use that. So she wants to know how many children I have. I've done this before, but I'll do it quick just to get it out there and to make more videos and I'm monetized yes I had like five options and I opted out of everything except for the come on oh that hand doesn't work so good either um what the heck was it called skip skip ads the skip ads only that's all I'm gonna experiment with right now sorry that this video is so flaky with the lighting not my fault if I move around too much it starts going wonky so uh, what was I saying yeah so I might as well make a host of videos and try to rake some money in right how many children do I have I have four children where do they live or where are they located okay I have one daughter in Texas and no I can't go live with her she did offer and say we could stick you on the floor in the kitchen, Ma. She has this little dinky apartment that isn't hers. And a, a good friend of hers was good enough when her Texas apartment, which was subsidized, um, got full of black mold and they wouldn't do anything about it. She had to leave. Uh, she became so sick. Her hair and her dog's fur was falling out. And uh, she was extremely ill. And so the friend said, yeah, come stay here. But now they're having problems there, too, because, you know, subsidized apartments um, in Texas in that particular area are slums. Mm -hmm. So she's in Texas, and I don't know if, like, I know people wonder, well, why don't your kids help you? Um, yeah, sure. She said I can go and crash on the floor. Alex would be fine with it, and uh, that's nice and everything. But, um, no. I'm not going to do that. Right. So Rachel's in Texas and do, 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 do. Oh, what does she think about my van life? She wouldn't do it in a van. Uh, she bought herself a canned ham camper. I, I don't know the type of name it was. She's told me about 20,000 times and I still can't get it straight in my head. But it's like a little 60s um, original camper. She's in the process of completely refurbishing it. So, um, yeah, she's working on that. And uh, that's Rachel in Texas. Um, that's my oldest. Dennis Jr. and his younger brother, Michael, are both here in Florida. They just moved into a house that they have an option to buy as soon as they can get the bank financing for it. And because he drives Uber... And he had a previous job, and they're not, none of them are two years exact. That's what you need for self-employment to get a loan. And banks do not like Uber drivers. They don't like Uber drivers. They don't believe that Uber drivers are a real job, even though they bust their butts and make quite good money. But, um, you know, that's uh, banks. And uh, now, if he got a, a job somewhere for six months, then they'll give you the loan. Go figure. So he might have to do that. Um, there's a lot of security jobs in Tampa, uh, so he's considering that, right? Uh, okay, so that's Rachel, Dennis Jr., and Michael. And, of course, with Michael is my daughter-in-law and my grandson, Finn, and they're all in a rather small two-bedroom, one-bath home. Uh, I 
just don't think I'd fit in there very well. But I am allowed to park my van there. Well, they said they'd give me a place if... You know, my kids aren't going to turn me out. We're very tight, you see. What do they think about van? Well, they did it themselves in an SUV. An Armada? Armada? Nissan Armada? Is that the name? Yeah. And uh, they were all over the place. They've gotten to see a lot of cool things. They've been out west. They've been in the Midwest. They've been in Florida. They've been as far up as uh, New York, uh, Pennsylvania. Ohio, they've seen a lot of the country and some really cool places, they say, and I'm anxious. And they're like, yeah, Mom, sounds good. Look, you got to understand where we came from. We were already wanderers and travelers. Uh, my husband was a rolling stone, and he did not want to be settled. He was miserable when he was settled, so we didn't. I was pretty miserable, too. I mean, there were conveniences, but... People like us don't get nice places. People like us with lower incomes get slums, you see, and slum lords who don't care and just want their rent. So that was the life we lived at that time. And then he kept telling me about Lake Tahoe and working as a, a change person and the money he made there and how he loved Lake Tahoe. And I said take me. Let's go. We had Rachel and Denny. Rachel, who was five, and Denny, who wasn't one, I think, the first time we went out there. And we had our Chevy Cavalier wagon, and we loaded up the truck, and we moved to Beverly. Um, so, yeah, uh, none of my kids think I'm nuts. Bonnie is my youngest, she never got to do the van life, the road life with us, the camper life. We did it all, you know. And uh, she's like, I'm worried about you, Mom. I don't want you just living in a van. Please get a camper, too. I'm like, okay, Bonnie. But mostly it's because she doesn't understand. She's never done it. I think she slept in her car once up in Bar Harbor, and it was quite miserable for her. I'm going to make sure I'm not miserable. I'm going to do it so that I'm comfortable. So, uh, and Bonnie is in New Jersey, New Jersey. Um, she has a very good job now, and she has a boyfriend. And uh, I do believe they're going to move in together um, because he's just graduating uh, from... Uh, Somewhere on the Long Island. Long Island. So, um, <laughs> they do talk like that, I swear. And, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, last question. Their thoughts and opinions on my van life. Only Bonnie is, uh, you know, you know, what's the word? She's, you know, whatever. Um, she worries about me. She knows I'm old. She knows I'm sick. She knows I'm tired. She knows I'm flighty, and she worries about me. She's afraid I'm going to go broke, I guess, and end up in a ditch. But I'm not. She wants to rescue me. God bless her. Someday, Mom, I'm going to have this or that, and I'm going to have a little cottage for you on my property. I'm like, groovy. I'll come. I doubt I'll stay, but I'll come. I am like a bird, I'll only fly away. That's the way I am. I've always wanted to fly away from little. And uh, I really doubt it's going to change. I, I'm just not the settled people. That's what Rachel calls it. We're not the settled people, Ma. And I'm like, yeah, we're not. Even my children that are doing what they're doing, they talk a lot, you know. Um, Michael and Maggie talk a lot about being on the road. Maggie says, we were so close and so in tune to each other when we were all together living in the Armada. I don't know. Go figure. It's, it's a life in which you become very dependent on each other and not in a codependent way. It's like, the dynamic is that you need each other, you work together, you experience things together, adventures together, 
it was a good life. I wish I would have appreciated it more. There were times when I thought I wanted to be settled. I want a home of my own. I want to have a schoolroom for the kids. The kids never wanted to learn that way. When we finally did settle, it was a, just not a great experience. No. And so up we went and we moved. So, yes, Nancy Barrett, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And now, when you click onto this video, I get to start earning money. Yes! I don't think it's going to be a lot because I only chose one option. I didn't want you to have to see videos before and after and during and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know how they're going to do these um, clickable. You know, you could just skip them. So uh, good luck with that. Sorry. Um, you don't have to watch them. Just fear not. Just I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm only doing that one option because, quite frankly, I've watched videos before. Add, 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 and finally, I just, I leave the, I leave the video. I can't take it. Why should I want you to do what I don't want to do? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye.